Well, hello there, YouTube, and I've got something a little bit unusual here. My wife actually requested that I do this, which is reverse some audio. Now, this is a, it's a song off Adrian Ballou album called Pop Sided. Adrian Ballou is kind of an off the beaten path artist. He's a very talented guitar player, an incredible guitar player. He's also uh, a gifted vocalist. He's a producer, a multi-instrumentalist. He sings like a bird. He's a renaissance man. And he's played on all kinds of music that you've heard before. He's been in a ton of bands. And he has 25 solo albums. He's won an Oscar for his work with Pixar. And I'll, I'll go on, I'll talk a little bit more about Baloo after we play the audio, but this is not his most recent album. His most recent album is called Elevator. He wrote that one coming off of the bummer that was the COVID lockdown, and it's a fantastic album. This is the album that came out just before that, and it is called Pop Sided. So this is his idea of pop songs. Now when I say pop, I you got to think this is an extension of what what John Lennon and what the Beatles started. This is Adrian Ballou finishing it. So when I say pop music, it's not um, top 40 type music. But the song we're going to be putting under our audio microscope today is the eighth track off of Pop Sighted. And it's called The Ladder of Life. So the first five seconds is a reverse vocal introduction. Then the music comes in at the 23, 20 or so second mark in there. There is an additional second reverse vocal that is sung. It is different. So I'm going to go ahead and play you the song forward just until the end of the second reverse segment and then we're going to listen to each segment in reverse and I'll play it forward and reverse reverse then forward makes sense here we go Adrian Ballou Okay, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> I got to tell you, my love for Adrian Ballou's music knows little boundary. I am a sucker for this guy's music. It is the panacea. It is the cure-all for me. So let's hear that first five seconds in reverse. This is played in reverse because as it appears on the album, it plays backwards. So we're going to flip it around and discover what is he actually singing. So it's peace and hap happy and peace and happy. And that's part of the chorus. Uh, peace and happiness. All I want is love and money, peace and happiness. So he's cut that so it's a little shorter. So it fits within the beat.
And it almost sounds like he's saying fantasy. <laughs> oh, this guy never never ceases to entertain me. So let's hear the second segment in reverse. So this is a jumble. This is a mix-up as well. It's oh whoa 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 climbing up on the I survived. And I'm guessing the reason he edited it that way is because it sounds better and more musical than climbing up on the ladder of life is the true full lyric probably doesn't work as well as where he spliced it together so this is clearly a case of him going into this with intention he's thinking nobody in their right mind is going to flip this in reverse and listen to it nobody has time for that and that's not the point this isn't a pink floyd album this isn't a secret message it is a reverse vocal that is nonsense in itself, but he wants it to sound as aesthetically pleasing as he possibly can. Well, it's kind of a really neat trick. He's just at, he's just editing. He's just playing around digitally. So let's hear that forward. Now let's hear it spun backwards. And you can hear how he harmonizes with himself. Uh, this guy can sing. He, <laughs> and then when you hear him do his guitar and he turns that around backwards he has a device where he'll play before the measure so the notes flip around about three quarters of a second after he picks them so he has to play ahead of the beat and then the notes come out backwards and he does this live and it's 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 incredible like he can play the guitar forwards and then he can play it backwards. <laughs> and it's not easy to do. I mean, it, all, it might sound to you like I'm trying to sell you a bill of goods because I'm a fan of this guy. But if you turn a reverse delay on and try to play along with a drum beat, it's, it's like it can't be done. And, and I don't know how he does it. It must be a case that he's that good at improvising in key. And that's, that's really what it is. And plus, he's played his guitar with this reverse delay so much. Because he started doing that. When did Mr. Music had come out? Uh, he's been doing that since probably 88. When, when that technology, the, the first time that was available was the Eventide 3000. And that may have come out a little bit before that point. Um, he had the more affordable Boss RPS 10, which was probably around, I, I'm, I'm guessing it was around $200. And th that thing will give you one second, close to one second of reverse delay. And the way that he was setting it for like a 120 beat per minute song, it was more like around 700 or 630 milliseconds. So whatever you play, there's three quarters of a second that you have to wait for the note to come out. 
So to get that to line up with the beat of the song, you can imagine what I'm talking about. And it's kind of one of those things that you have to be a guitar player to understand this. And, and not only do you have to be a guitar player, but you have to be a guitar player who really understands technology. And there really aren't too many people that were doing this. He was a pioneer at it. Now it, you know, there's a lot of devices on the market that do this. And there's, there's more people that have used it. But oftentimes what they'll do is they'll blend in the straight guitar signal when they're picking, they're hearing that immediately. So it'll be a mix of like 50% reverse, 50% the regular unaffected guitar. And that's, yeah, you, you get a little bit of the reverse effect blended in with it. But there's it's nothing like turning the mix knob all the way to the reverse sound, plucking, playing it, and having to wait. And boy, he doesn't wait. He's playing, he's all over the neck of that guitar, and the solo is coming out. Like, later on, after the technology evolved and he stopped using the Boss RPS-10, and he got other units that had more delay time. He started playing at 1.6 second and longer, which is it's tw it's twice it's in, in the same BPM. This is twice the amount of delay, <laughs> and he he can he can do it even better with the longer delay. And when you see him doing it live. It's like what what's going on? You know, his hands don't line up with the sound you're hearing at all during certain parts of the solos when he kicks that thing on. It's it's something to see. So again, I never uh, miss an opportunity where I can uh, go on and on and talk about my love for Adrian Blue, <laughs> the guy. Is, is like he's like from another planet. When you see him doing his thing, nobody plays the guitar like Adrian Ballou. And it's really just the tip of the iceberg because his albums are so musical and so en enlightening and enriching. The lyrics are so positive. It's kind of an extension of like the... Uh, uh, more positive message uh, like an evolved thing of like what the Beatles were on to you know but it's it's more if it, there's more uh, any gri he gripes you know he's an older guy so he he doesn't necessarily fit in with the uh, the modern society so whenever Adrian Ballou is coming to town, we're right on it. We're buying tickets. I've got all of his solo records. And it's some really interesting music. Forget the backward stuff. That's one flavor that he uses and with many because he plays a guitar synthesizer and he uses effects, guitar effects processing. He's a pioneer. Like I said, he reinvented guitar effects and uh, uh, the way that you approach playing on electric guitar. Uh, he has a unique voice. And because of that, he was sought after by the world's top musicians, such as Frank Zappa, David Bowie, Talking Heads, Herbie Hancock, Paul Simon, King Crimson, and many, many more. So if you're not an Adrian Ballou fan, you need to check some of that music out and expand your horizons because, boy, there's a whole uh, nut hatch of side projects and he's been played on a bunch of other people's albums. So you can, you can uh, jot that one down on your music to check out list. And I will talk to you guys soon. Hug your pets and peace.